You might not know it, but agriculture is going through a new revolution, and IoT is actually driving that rev resolution. And uh, we have Tom O'Reilly today on the IoT Show to talk to us about an upcoming IoT in Action event that will cover that very topic. This is the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host, uh, and today I have Tom O'Reilly with me again. Thank you. Welcome Thanks back. Thanks I'm for happy to be here. Thanks for coming back. And you're here to talk to us about uh, upcoming IoT in Action uh, webinars, right? Yeah. But before we jump into the upcoming ones and the topics we're going to cover, yeah. a reminder for people who might have missed the first episode because mm -hmm. they've not subscribed yet to the no. show, but they will, right? Yeah. Um, what, what is the IoT in Action webinar real quick? Yeah, so the IoT in Action webinar program is part of a larger IoT in Action series that we run. And that's mm -hmm. a combination of in-person events that will be running around the world, as well as these set of webinars. And these webinars are an opportunity for us to go deep on a particular industry vertical. Okay. And we do that by talking to an industry expert mm -hmm. and really understanding what are the unique challenges that come up in a particular industry. Okay. We then bring in a, one of our partners that will be able to talk to how they are actually being able to build uh, solutions that fix those problems. And then ultimately we also go through uh, open source reference designs that Microsoft have built that any one of our partners can use okay. to go and build solutions like these for their particular yeah, industry. So, so basically they're for customers, partners, they're for anyone interested in IoT in general Absolutely. and in that particular topic that's going to be covered during that uh, IT in Action event. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So the next one is about agricultural revolution, right? It like is. title. It's, uh, look, it's one that's very close to my heart, actually. Uh, you know, I'm from Australia, you can yep. probably tell from my accent, no. but, uh, <laughs> but my family back home, we, we, we were farmers as well. Mm -hmm. And there is a huge change that's happening in the world of farming now. And it's also one of the things that's causing a great divide between big economies around the world as well. You know, 70% of the world's fresh water supply is actually used for livestock and crops. And that's something we have to be really cognizant of is mm -hmm. water usage, more effective use of being smarter with the land that we're actually cultivating. Yeah. Um, you know, the difference between, say, rice or sorghum or barley and their water consumption versus things like nuts, for example, or mm -hmm. for beef cattle. We're talking hundreds of liters per ton of food as opposed to 10 to 15,000 liters of, of water per kilo of, of beef that is produced. It's a, it's a huge challenge that it the is. world is, needs to confront right now. And so how is IoT in general helping yeah. solving that or, or make, making the farmers more efficient and, yep. and saving energy, saving resources and so forth? Yeah, so there's lots of different technologies that can apply in this space. Between the 1950s and now in the US, we're actually been able to double the amount of milk production with a third of the number of cows. And this is something that is really, really important. Where did that technology come from was largely around proper pasture management, good breeding and animal and herd management. Okay. Uh, we also saw you know, great uh, progression in the way in which animal livestock are treated over the period of their life and so on. So you could get these great you know, increases in productivity. Okay. With no chemicals, by the way, right? You, all yeah. you're mentioning is like natural ways of improving the production without having to use right. bad means, right? Yeah, this is not about GMO, this is not about yeah. antibiotics usage and so on, but it all has a profound effect on the downstream you know, issues that all of us confront in terms of how we are you know, developing, eating, how we're thinking yep. about wastage and management. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what we talk about in farm areas is, you know, there are a lot of common issues that doesn't matter where you are. Connectivity mm -hmm. is probably the easiest one that we yeah. can call out. You know, rural farm areas aren't exactly have Wi-Fi towers up everywhere. So how do you think about that? Okay. When we think about connectivity challenges, then it comes to, well, decision making on the edge. How do you actually train models? How do you actually use environmental data? So yep. you don't want to have to be your own weather station. So are you able to tap into existing meteorological services mm -hmm. and have them be localized to your farm? Okay. Um, we also see the usage of things like drone technology that can be used to actually fly over a farm and either find lost cattle or even get down to a point where you can specifically plant seeds 
you know, in different areas of the farm, depending on their water usage, depending on the sunlight that they get, and the so type on. Type of soil that you detect exactly. in there. Yes, awesome. Like becoming a farmer, a modern farmer is no longer just about you know working the soil itself. Yeah. It's actually about using technology then. Yeah, right? it's, it's becoming and getting smarter. Mm -hmm. um, so w what we're going to talk about in this webinar series is we're going to go through and talk about some of those challenges, really get deep on what mm -hmm. they are. Okay. This webinar is a little bit different and this is actually a Microsoft first party solution that was built for us or with us mm -hmm. by Blue Metal, which is an insight company. Okay. And again, this is one of these reference designs that any one of the audience or anyone in the world can get for free. It's on GitHub. What's the name? It's called Farm Bits. Farm Bits, yeah. And you're going to be able to get on there, have mm -hmm. a look at it, and see how this thing actually works. Uh, the idea of this technology is really about helping farmers make more and optimal usage of the land that they have. So, you know, it's a time saver as well as an okay. efficiency gain. Awesome. So, talking about a topic showing what can be done with a partner or internal partner in that case right. and solution uh, and then opening up for people to get that reference architecture and yeah. open source and eventually starting touching also some code at some point. Exactly. Uh, and, and yeah, awesome. And so when is that? So it's coming up on the 23rd of August. Okay. Uh, so not too far from now. Uh, really encourage you guys to watch it. If you can't watch it live, then all of our webinars are also available on demand. Yeah, the one on energy efficiency actually is already there. Yep. And we're going to have more coming soon as you have on the slide right here. We do. Plus, there's also the in-person events. We've got one coming up in Santa Clara, another one in Barcelona, and they'll be traveling around the world. So if you go on and register for the, any of the webinars, you'll also see all the dates and locations that we have coming up for the In Action event series as well. Awesome. I mean, we're going to have the links in the description. And it's always a pleasure to have you on the, on the show. Thanks so much for having me. I know you're going to come back soon. I will be back very uh, soon. And Thank actually you so on much. a regular basis, I know that as well. Perfect. Because we have tons of these IT in actions going on. And so we want to talk about all these topics. Thanks for watching the IT show. And don't forget to subscribe.